we're a coastal community here in Mott Haven and Port Morris, yet we have zero access to our waterfront. There are no access points to our waterfront. That's unjustifiable, considering that so many other parts of the city have access to their waterfront. We're going through a, a waterfront renaissance here in New York City. And, you know, I can point to several parks um, that are on the waterfront in Manhattan and in Brooklyn. Our section of the waterfront is public land, but it's leased by a for-profit private company. They sublease that land and are generating a handsome profit with public land. And so several years ago, we uh, started a campaign to get access to our waterfront. But it is a state prioritized waterfront plan uh, and it would finally, if we're able to get access to the spaces that we need, it would give us uh, open air waterfront park. We are in Brook Park Community Garden. Um, which is just such a beautiful community gathering space, a safe space, and these types of spaces, unfortunately, in our community are uh, very limited. Not surprisingly, South Bronx is hotter than many other parts of the city, most other parts of the city. And that's definitely because of the landscape of our community, the impermeable surfaces, the lack of open green space, and the quote-unquote parks that have been built in recent years they're all asphalt. So our waterfront plan is part of the land trust initiative. Community land trusts build public benefits using public space. A lot are focused on housing. We think that public land should also be used for other public benefits, um, including, for example, open green space. We talk about the public interest. Public land in public hands. Come on, y'all. Public land. So the waterfront, one section of it, is all of the polluting facilities. And then in another section, we have seven luxury high-rises going up. Um, I can't imagine um, what rent will be in these units. And that's going to also change the character of the neighborhood. So it's not just about housing becoming unaffordable. It becomes uh, about stores, restaurants in the area becoming unaffordable for the people who live here. The South Bronx is a community that has, um, when depicted in the media, been depicted in a, in a negative way. You know, there's so much culture and beauty in this community. Uh, the South Bronx gave us hip hop and bumba. We are so rich in culture. We want to make it so that when people think about the South Bronx, they think about green space, they think about community centers. If we're given the resources that we need to be able to do that, we can thrive.